Hello, welcome to IT Security Labs. And today we're going to talk about the difference between Grafana and Kibana. I'll be using my home lab as an example to show you how different both of these systems are. I have a Grafana installation in my lab in vSphere, and I also have Kibana in my uh, cloud environment. My Kibana is running a Honeypot teapot, and my Grafana is monitoring a lot of systems in my own home lab. And I'll be showing you all those things while highlighting the differences and similarities between the two systems. Without wasting time, let's go ahead and start. Kibana is a data visualization system, but it's mostly used for querying and log analysis. But uh, Kibana does come with a visualization feature that you something like what you're looking at right now, which is very wonderful. On the same note, Grafana is also for analysis for logs and different uh, platforms and also monitoring systems. And you also get to create beautiful graphs from all kinds of metrics that you can uh, have in your Grafana dashboards. So for example, right now, I'm just monitoring my power usage. I also have a video on my channel on how to do this, but Grafana is able to monitor and display system information like what you're looking at right now, which is wonderful because sometimes you get data from all over the place and Grafana can do that. So that's one thing about both of them is they are capable of visualizing data. They're capable of creating wonderful graphs and they, they both work really well for what they do. Now that we know that they both can visualize and do log analysis, um, where would this data be coming from? That's the first difference that I want to highlight is with Kibana, you're stuck with just going to Elasticsearch. Kibana is part of the Elasticsearch and for you to be able to visualize and query data like this, you will be using the ELK stack. Compared to that in Grafana, Grafana allows you to get data from all kinds of sources. So for example, if I go to my data sources, I'm getting data from InfluxDB, I'm using Rain Tank, I'm even getting data from Cloudflare, and you can use different data sources with Grafana compared to Kibana. So as you can see, here are all the data types that it supports right now. You can pretty much put all these there. So that's the main difference. The next difference is Grafana does not support text-based querying. Unlike Kibana, Kibana allows you to actually display text and also query information. As you can see right here, I'm able to see what kind of passwords these attackers are going for, and it queries this in a dynamic way. You can't do this with uh, Grafana. So is all this information that you're looking at right now. Grafana allows you to create beautiful graphs for different metrics, for different things, but no text. That's the downside to that. Grafana is great with things like CPU. Let me just show you uh, my dashboard overview again. As you can see, I can get the when inbound, when out, CPU, RAM, network cluster information, even storage. So if your goal is to monitor these types of metrics, you are better off using Grafana compared to using Kibana because this is very easy to set up in uh, Grafana and you can get that information. If you want some text-based uh, information, if you want to be able to query information and also just find information based on uh, certain parameters, then you're better off uh, going with Kibana. So that's another difference that you can see right there. Both of them can uh, work with time series data, which, which is amazing. The uh, other difference is with Kibana, they, you cannot get alerts unless if you find a way to set it up yourself. Whereas Grafana, you, have, you can just create alerts from your own dashboards in a very simple and straightforward way. Kibana allows you to just come in here, it's already built, you can just go ahead and create an alert, then I can even just 
decide where I want this alert to be and how, how I want the alerts to be sent to me. And this is very, very simple and straightforward. So I, I will be showing another video of alerts in my, on my channel in, a, in the next few weeks because I'll be monitoring my lab. Uh, so I'll show you guys uh, how that is set up. But Elasticsearch and Kibana does not ship with alerts enabled. The last difference that I wanted to mention is how easy it is to set up. There's a learning curve that is needed with uh, Kibana. Grafana, on the other hand, is very simple to set up. It's straightforward. On my lab, I have vid on my YouTube channel, I have videos showing how to set up all this information, which is very simple and straightforward. Actually, you can set up Grafana in just 10 minutes in Docker or even less. And I have a video on my channel, which I'll link in the description below if uh, you're interested. And you can actually set up Grafana on Docker in 10 minutes. So this is the video that I was talking about. On the other hand, Kibana is very, very challenging to set up unless if you know what you're doing or if you find a way to uh, get a prepackaged installation like what comes with Teapot right here. I also have a video on how this Teapot is set up and also how I'm getting all this information. So you can see that on my channel or um, I can put a link in the description below. So that's it guys. I just wanted to show you a hands-on uh, demo of the difference between Grafana and Kibana and also to review the different use cases. If you like this type of content, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I'll be posting more of this information on a weekly basis. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.